Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is this pedigree shows the inheritance of labor congenital amaurosis LCA which is a type of hereditary blindness. Individuals with this disease lose their vision during the childhood. And two questions today. Question A. What is the inheritance pattern shown? And question B. Highlight one individual whose genotype is unknown. What additional information you would need to determine his or her genotype. So now let's analyze. Could it be, for example, dominant genetic disorder? No, because we see, for example, that this couple phenotypically normal, but they have two affected children. So this is not dominant genetic disorder. Can it be, for example, recessive genetic disorder, which is X-link? And uh, in order for this female to be affected with this genetic disorder, let me show you. She has to have two defective X chromosomes. One she can get from her mother's side, and her mother can be phenotypically normal if she has only one defective X chromosome and another would be normal X chromosome. And another X chromosome, this female, can get from her father's side. But in this case, her father would manifest this genetic disorder because males are hemizygous and even if it is X-link recessive genetic disorder, because males has only one X chromosome, this male would be affected. So now we know that this is not X-link recessive genetic disorder and the only variant, it can be autosomal recessive genetic disorder and genotypes can be as follows. So genotype of this female would be capital A small a, capital A small a of this male. This female is going to be small a small a male small a small a and uh, all people who marry into the family who are not direct descendants of this couple we assume that they are phenotypically and genotypically normal so have two dominant alleles so now we know that genotype of this person is heterozygous mother has two recessive alleles so he have to have one recessive allele and one dominant allele because his phenotype is normal. Now let's consider this couple. They have affected child whose genotype we know have to be small a, small a. And that means that uh, this person here have to be heterozygous and his wife also have to be heterozygous. In this case, this child can get one defective allele from father side and one defective allele from the mother side. And genotype of this person, this is going to be the only one person whose genotype is unknown. We know phenotype, but genotype can be with the two dominant alleles or dominant and recessive allele. So this person can be with the homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Phenotype is still going to be normal. Now, as for the question, what additional information would you need to determine uh, her genotype. If we would know that this person also would have children who would be, uh, for example, affected, we would know that this person is heterozygous. Of course, this can happen if her husband also would be heterozygous. If her husband would be phenotypically and genotypically normal, we wouldn't be able to tell uh, genotype of this person. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.